Hi, I'm Keith Krieger, Program Director for Computer Applications Training at JCCC. And today we have some tools, tips, and techniques to help you do your work with common computer applications every day. So here's another quick idea for using some of the commands built into the Microsoft Office applications to help you move around more efficiently, get your work done more click quickly with the ability to minimize the number of clicks to get something done. And this time we're in Outlook. We happen to be in Outlook 2010. This would work in Outlook 2003, and Outlook 2007, and Outlook 2013 as well. And I'm in the calendar view, and you'll notice up here in the ribbon that I'm work looking at the work week view. Um, you'll notice that the calendar is set up with color categories, not so much for being able to pick out things right now, but at the end of a period of time, a quarter, a year, prior to a review, I can go back in and tell Outlook to capture the number of appointments or meetings dealing with a particular category so I can see how I've spent my time. But when we're working with the calendar on a day-to-day -day basis, we may be moving around within a date range. And I can, if you're a mouse fan, I can use the paging buttons up here in the upper left to move between dates. Uh, paging through a calendar this way certainly works, uh, but if you have to move a long distance, long distance, it takes a little bit more time. I can also use a go-to. And there is a chunk up in the ribbon, and chunk is Microsoft's terminology for these pieces of the ribbon, and I have a go-to box up here. Notice that I do have a downward pointing arrow embedded in the lower right-hand corner of the go-to chunk, and when I click that, I get a small go-to dialog box. I'm going to move that over a little bit, and I get a date picker here. I can move from month to month. A secret here is if I press and hold the mouse on the month, I now get a scrollable list of previous and upcoming months that I can move through. Or I can simply type a date in. And let's go out a few months here and click OK. Now, that's, there's a whole lot of clicking there just to simply to get to that go-to calendar. So I can do a Control and G, and I get the same go-to calendar popping up. Now, if I'm moving around within the calendar, say within years, then the problem comes, well, I want to get back to today. And I can drop the list down and click today, which will do the trick, and click OK. That's three clicks. I also have a Today button up in the standard chunk up here. What I really like to do is get a keyboard shortcut that would take me to Today. And the way I do that is, again, I'm going to use this Quick Access Toolbar, and I'm going to embed the Today button up in the Quick Access Toolbar and then I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to trigger it. So in order again to customize that quick access toolbar, I'm going to drop that list down that's embedded in that drop down arrow. And I have the default items that Microsoft has provided for the quick access toolbar. In this case, we want to use the item labeled more commands that I'm pointing to here on the drop down list. And I want to, again, look in this center column. And the drop-down list here allows me to pick out commands from all of these different pieces and parts. Most of these are embedded in the ribbons. I'm going to look at all commands. And what I want to find here is today, the today command. And instead of using the scroll, scroll bar, scroll wheel, easiest way to scroll through these long alphabetized lists is to simply single click one item in the list, press the first letter of the word you're looking for, and the pick list will automatically scroll to that part of the alphabet. 
and I can find today. Notice that there are two today commands. The today command with the green arrow is the go to. The today command with the red flag is a signal that can be placed in your inbox to show you that you should be paying attention to that item that is flagged with that bright red flag. In our case, what we want to do is add today to the quick access toolbar. If I'm happy with its position, I can click the OK button and we now have today embedded up in the quick access toolbar. Now, what I want to do is to not have to pick up my hands off the keyboard to move around. And what I did there was I tapped the Alt key. And we see that we get a menu tip, those little squares added to each one of the tabs in this case. So if I pressed F at this point, it would trigger the File tab. If I pressed H at this point, it would trigger the Home tab. Handy if we suddenly lose the mouse and we need to move around within the tabs. But you'll notice your Quick Access Toolbar that today is in the third position in the Quick Access Toolbar. What it's saying is if I, if I tap the Alt key and then 3, it should trigger today. Let's see if it works. And I'm going to use the go-to shortcut. I'm going to do Control and G and let's go to a date. I went out there a little ways and let's see if it works. So if I tap Alt and that shows me that 3 is the keyboard shortcut to trigger today and when I touch 3 it automatically takes me back to today. So in order to minimize mouse clicks, in order to uh, not deal with carpal tunnel syndrome from handling the mouse too much, we can very easily embed a command in the quick access toolbar and then using the alt key to tell Windows to show us what that keyboard shortcut is to trigger that particular command. We can do this with any number of commands that we wish to put up in the quick, quick access toolbar and very quickly and easily do two keystrokes to access that action. We trust you found the tips and tools techniques in these videos to be helpful in something you can put to use almost immediately. We know that these are things that can be shared easily and we encourage you to share them with your colleagues and your friends. Post them to Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn for other people to take advantage of. And if you like, we'd be happy to send you the notes of the tools and techniques that we've shown you here today. Please feel free to send us a message at the address on the screen and we'll get those right out to you. Thanks.